Hi, I'm Nick from TA and today I'm going to be talking through my top 15 life hacks for Microsoft Teams. So let's dive straight in. In this first tip, I'm going to be showing you how you can reply to specific messages in Microsoft Teams. So here we are in Teams and I've got a chat message going on with Super Nick and I could reply to his message at the bottom in the chat, but it wouldn't tell me what I'm replying to. So let's say I want to reply to what time the meeting is later. On the message, I'd hover over the message. On the three dot ellipsis, I'll drop that down and just simply click reply. And as you can see in the message, it includes the original message. So when I type my reply, just like this, and I hit enter, as you can see, it replies with the original message included. Easy as that. Are you like me and you get sick and tired of muting and unmuting yourself in Teams? Well, did you know you can do this temporarily? Well, I'm gonna show you how right now. So here I am in a Teams meeting and I have forgot to mute myself. So let me physically press the mute button. Now, if I want to unmute myself temporarily, easy. If I hold down the control and the space bar, it unmutes myself. And the minute you let go of your space bar again, you're muted once again. So really quick and easy. Okay, next up, did you know that you can see the order of raised hands in Teams? So here we are in a Teams meeting. And as you can see, I've got plenty of questions to field, but I don't know what order they came in. If I click on the participants tab, you can see all the people with raised hands have numbers next to them. And that tells you what order the hands have been raised in. If you wanted to lower someone's hands, it will then rearrange the order depending on whose hands you have lowered. If you want to quickly add a poll to a conversation or a channel in Teams, super easy. How do we do that? Well, let me show you. So here we are in Teams, and if I click on new conversation, on the three dot ellipsis below the start a conversation, you can see suggested apps. I'm going to select forms. From there, you can ask your question and you can give some options. And once you've done that, you can press preview and you can see what the question will look like. The minute you hit send, it sends to your team to get feedback on a poll. Easy as that. Okay, next tip for Teams. Did you know that you can turn on captions in a live meeting? So in your meeting, go to more actions where the three dots are and go down to where you can see turn on live captions. The minute you put this on, any conversations or chat that's going on in your meeting will be turned into live captions. Really easy and simple. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can save messages in Teams, a little bit like red flagging it from your email. And again, so easy. So I want to save a bunch of these messages. If I hover over at the top, you can see the three dots appear. Now, the first option there is save this message. I'm going to go through and save a few more. As you can see, it says it's saved. So I want to save this message because I want to come back to it for later. Now, let's say I want to save a bit of praise as well, because who doesn't love a bit of praise? So thank you for that, hard deep. Now, where are these messages saved? So if we go to our profile picture at the top, you can see the option for saved. So let's go into that. Now, all of your previously saved messages will all be in one place. And as you can see, they've got the purple tab next to them to tell you that they're saved. Now, you can just click on any message that you want to review. Let's go through them and see what we can see. Now, if you want to unsave them, all you need to do from here is just unclick that purple tab and they're not saved anymore. Easy as that. As well as being able to save messages in Teams, did you know that you can pin messages to the top of your channel? So I've got a bunch of messages here and I never want to miss a message from my boss, Mark. So what I'm going to do for this, I'm going to pin him to the top of my messages. So on the three dots, you can see the option for pin. Now, the minute I click on that, all messages will be saved at the top of my chat. So I'll never miss out on a message from Mark. You can do this for as many people as you like. Just three dot ellipsis next to the name and click on pin. So now when you close or get new messages, they'll always be at the top. Number eight of my team's tips, and this one is genius. It's so simple. Let me just show you. So in Teams, we all know that you can use the forward and back button to go back and forward to pages that you have currently or previously been on. However, if you float and hover over one of the back or forward arrows, you can see a list of all the different pages that you've been to recently. So if you just hover over it and select one of the pages, you'll go straight back to that page without having to keep clicking back and forward. 
If you want to really quickly get things approved, there's a feature in Teams that allows you to do just that. So below my chat message, I have added the app for approvals, as you can see there. Go to the three dot ellipsis and search for it if you haven't got it already. Now, this is what it looks like when you have added the app. I want to make a new request, so it could be a basic request or an e-signature request. You could use a template too. Now, my request is going to be, can I use this image? And I'm going to add some people that I want to approve it. So Matt and Malcolm, and I require the response from them. So I'm going to check that box. Now, there are a few options that you can add. You can add an attachment. So if you've got a receipt or any other documents that you need them to review, you can add it here. I want to add the image because I want them to see it to approve it. Now you can choose to add custom responses, but I'm just gonna hit send. Now when that gets sent over, it appears just like that as an approval. Now all they need to do from here is just click on the view details and they can approve my messages really quickly and easily. And as you can see, I can find the app approvals on the left hand side, and then I can go through each approval all in one place to see, and I'll never miss an approval. Here's how you can create announcements in Teams. So there may be an occasion where you want to present some really important information that you want to make sure nobody misses in your team. So announcements is great for this. So let's click on the new conversation button. And from there, if you click on the little A with the pen, this will give you some more options to compose your message. And as you can see where it says new conversation, let's drop that down and then you can see announcement. From here, you can customize your announcement so you can change the background color of the headline so let's try a nice little orange you could also add an image of your choice or an illustration there are quite a few presets that teams has so you can select one from there or you could choose to upload your own by just clicking that there and then click upload an image and there you can drag and drop whatever you like if you want to type in the headline so let's say I've got some big news is my announcement and the announcement is I'm getting a haircut because we all need a fresh trim so as soon as you're ready to go click on send and there you go, your announcement is something that no one will miss. Okay, let's have a little bit of fun with Teams. Here's how you can add emojis to your channels. So here I am in my TikTok team in Microsoft Teams, and I've got a bunch of different channels, and as you can see, they've all got an emoji. Let me show you how to add it yourself. So let's add a new channel, and I wanna add a channel just for all our video work. So on the channel name, you can type in your video. And if you hold down the windows and full stop or period key, you bring up your emoji shortcuts. So from there, you can then find the correct emoji that would represent your channel. So I'm looking for a, a simple camcorder, for example. So I'm gonna find that on my emojis and click add. And as soon as I have added it, you can see the channel appears with the emoji next to it, making it pop and look a little bit fresher. Who remembers Mr. Clippy? Well, now you can get him in Teams. So to get Mr. Clippy, let's say you wanna to reply to a conversation or start a new message. You click on the little sticker icon just there, and we're gonna scroll down on the left-hand side until we find what we want. And there's Clippy. Let's select that, and there we go. There's all your Clippy images. If you scroll down, you can find some ones that might look a bit more familiar to you, just like the need help with the CV. We all know and we all love that. Let's find one that's a bit more relevant. Let's put looks great. And there's Mr. Clippy. We're going to send it. And there we go. Old school. Okay, we all love a good meme. But did you know that you can create your own in Teams? So we're gonna create a meme using one of the sticker options. So if we click on the sticker option below the chat composer, and on the left-hand side of this menu, we're gonna scroll down to where it says meme. You can add your own by clicking the plus button, or you've got a lot of preset images that you can use. So I'm gonna choose this one of the classic baby. So you can choose to edit the top caption and the bottom caption, and it creates the meme just like that. As Soon as you're happy with your text, just click on done, and there it is in your message ready to send. You can just hit the send button and there you go. You've just sent and created your own meme. Here's something that you may not have heard about before in Teams. You can embed a web page within a channel. And again, it's really easy. So let me show you how. So here I am in our TikTok channel and I have a bunch of tabs at the top with different links to web pages. So I have a TikTok tab with all our TikTok content. We also have a Twitter 
tab, which pulls in all our social media and our Twitter page to our Teams tab. And we also have a TA Tech Tips tab, which is linked to our YouTube. So all of our YouTube content can be seen within the channel. So to add your own page, it's really easy. So next to the TA Tech Tips, you can see that little plus. So we're going to add that to add a tab. It might take a minute to load. Sometimes they do, but let it do its thing. It won't be long. So as you can see on the top left, there is an option to add website. So we're going to click on that and you've got a few options here. So we're going to name the tab. So let's say we want to add a Wikipedia embedded page. We're going to call it Wikipedia. Really simple. And then just add the URL. You could post this to the channel so it notifies everybody else about it. But for this purpose, we're not going to do that. Click on save. And there we go. Wikipedia is embedded into your team's channel. Easy as that. OK, for my final top tip for Teams, here's how you can see all of the available shortcuts in Teams in one place. First of all, I'm going to show you how you can see all the commands that you can use within Teams. So let's head to the search bar and we're going to type in forward slash. And as you can see, that shows you all of the quick commands that you can use within Teams. So you've got things like forward slash away or busy. And if you select them, so let's say we want to select busy. Now our status is automatically being set to busy. Now, if you want to show a list of all of the shortcuts within Teams, all you need to do is press the control key and full stop. And what that will do, that will bring up all of the keyboard shortcuts that you can use within Teams. So you've got things like open history menu or open chat. So you can use control two for that. Reply to a specific thread, start an audio call. You've got so many shortcuts here within Teams. So control and full stop. And there we go. And there we have it. There's my top 15 tips and tricks for Microsoft Teams. If you found that useful, please feel free to share with your colleagues, your friends, your family. Spread the word of all the great things that Microsoft Teams are doing. And I'll see you next time.